Angelus Katina, and where I'm applying the word of God to your life. I'm making a lot of videos and articles on how to stop addictive sin and sexual sin specifically. And I have a lot of resources and it's connected in the description box. And in this video, I'm speaking about methods on things that might help you to overcome sexual addiction. And today we're going to look at how Jesus Christ and the gospel is the only way that we be free from addictive sin, including sexual sin. So there's resources that are going to be connected in the description box. And once you look at those descriptions and the description box, we're going to be offering articles within the website. So there's links in the description. So also, in this video, I want to give you three tips that are a little outside of the box. And these are not the main ingredients that is going to freedom from sin. These are not the first thing you should try. But if you continue to struggle, these three tips is going to help you in practical ways. Number one, if you're struggling with addictive sin, such as sex, sexual sin, you might want to into your mental health and your emotional health. I don't mean that your addiction is like a disorder. I'm just stating that you're masturbating a lot and you're looking at porn and you're doing something that you know that's not wrong and it's not in the sight of God's eyes that is great. A lot of times there's people using sexual sin as a release or coping mechanism to deal with a mental illness or emotion problem inside of them. So if you're struggling with depression and, and you just came out of a relationship or you're trying to figure out how to get in a relationship and you're masturbating and looking at pornography and you're coping with feeling that depression, if you're feeling with anxiety or paranoia, bipolar disorder, again, these things can trigger for sinful behaviors that you're often struggling within coming out of relationship, trying to keep a relationship, and that sin may be a symptom of a deeper problem and you haven't addressed a chemical imbalance and you don't have the right serotonin levels in your brain. Maybe that there's some antidepressants that are gonna help you. And I'm not suggesting you take it. The effect can give you a greater ability to resist sexual temptation, but I'm not suggesting that you take that. But there is people that do take those pills. And these are different things you're praying about or you're working on it. Maybe there's something else going on in your life that's triggering those things. And you need to speak to your doctor and speak and do something else. And also counsel with your pastor. Try something outside of the box. Start looking at your physical. It might also be a factor of triggering the sexual sin. And also it is spiritual. And the second thing where how to stop sinning sexually and how to stop addictive sin is to change your environment. Maybe you need to change your living space because as humans, we get into these patterns and especially if it's a 21 day pattern and then places that we have habitual dumped something actually been up a trigger for doing those things again and again. So I been somewhere where the last two years with recovering addicts and men in crisis with drugs and alcohol. And if you ever been around NA groups and AA groups, you heard this thing where people, places, and things. Those are common phrases in the the drug addiction world, recovery world, that people are triggered by those things. And you need to identify the pimple places and things. Those could be triggers in, in the active addiction of sexual sin. And so you may need to move out of the apart apartment or move out the house. And it's not solving a heart issue. It might move you forward internally, have a fresh start a psychologically have a fresh start and, you, and you're speaking to Jesus, looking at Jesus as it is a first start. And as you're making that clean break 
Philippians 4, verse 8, finally, brother, what is true, what is honorable, what is dressed, what is poor, what is lovely, commendable, any excellent, anything that's worthy of praise, think about these things. And the reason why I bring this up, because your living space, your environment is constantly behavior and it might be subconscious and sebaceous conscious as well you should do whatever it takes to have the best thoughts possible moving and getting a new room or get a new house is not going to change the behavior it is a something helpful a tip that will move you forward the third outside of the box tip is that a biblical tip and is very scriptural which is you should focus less on your sin and more on your savior. And as Christians, our ultimate goal is not to not sin. Not sinning is not the goal of Christianity. Glorifying the Lord Jesus Christ is part of Christianity and not sinning help us to glorify God. And living a sexually poor life is a command, yes. It is an ultimate goal we're glorifying God, being in his presence and enjoying him, God, and God himself is actually the goal of the Christian life. And sometimes we focus too much on our sin and actually cause us to sin more. Oftentimes, when you have a grace-based theology and you understand grace, you realize that even as you're struggling with sin and you're repenting, you have to come in the presence of God more and more, and you can't be repelled by God's presence because of your sin. It's actually caused you to sin more. Sometimes we need to stop focusing on your sin and focus on the presence of God. And people think that if you can just get right enough and you can just stop sinning, you can come to God. And biblically, it's incorrect. The Bible speaks when you come into the presence of God through grace, Jesus Christ, it will cause you to stop sinning. And this will actually be the means of your sanctification. So it's not be about being perfect and stopping your sin so that you can have a relationship with God. Rather, grace says you have a relationship with God because Jesus Christ fully gives it to you through the gospel, hallelujah, and through your relationship with God. This would actually be the reasons you can stop sinning in a ways in the past, like cheating on your wife, and you're trying to figure out how to come in that marriage agreement with your um, girlfriend. And you know the outside of the box tips is focus more on God and less on your sin. And as I mentioned, there's resource box, and there's links on the description box. There's prayers as well that will help you to end within this video. And I thank God for you joining me and may God richly favor you.